But you guys got another video here for you in this one we'll be deep cleaning a dirty keyboard as you can see here this is a pretty expensive keyboard and it's just been left to gather dust and grime and hair and everything else is all built up inside here and underneath these keys so we're going to be giving this a deep clean and getting all of this grime off and making it look like new so i'll show you all the steps that you're going to need to do in this one to get it nice and clean let's just have a quick close-up look here it looks pretty grim now you will need a key removal tool which you can pick up on amazon now before we continue with the cleaning process let's have a word from today's sponsor for today's video which is cd key sales i'll leave all the links in the video description if you're looking for a windows 10 pro key use my promo code capital b capital r 09 submit your order then head over to the activation center to activate your Windows 10 Pro. Put in the key you just purchased, click next, and then click on activate, and you'll be able to activate your version of Windows 10 Pro for a really good price. I'll leave all the information in the video description of this video. Now, the first thing we need to do is to take a photograph of the keyboard so we know where the keys go when we put them back, and then we can use the key removal tool to remove all of the keys from the keyboard. Now, this is a mechanical keyboard from Corsair, and there's plenty of other keyboards out there that are mechanical keyboards which allow you to remove the keys just like this one. So just remove all these and put them to one side. Make sure you don't lose them. Now you may be thinking, is it necessary to remove all the keys? And the answer to that is yes, because it gives you close access to the switch, which will allow you to get right in there with a toothbrush or some sort of brush and get rid of all the debris, hair and all the food or whatever it is you've been doing around the, your keyboard. So now we've got all of the keys removed from the keyboard, we can get good access here. And what I'd advise you to do is get all of your keys here. You can see there's a bit of grime on these, but some of them are going to be worse than others, especially on top of the key where you've got oily residue from your fingers and food and whatever it is you've been doing. I don't particularly eat food uh, and touch my keyboard at the same time. Some people do. But what I've got here is some warm soapy water. This is just washing up liquid in some lukewarm water. You don't want scorching hot water you don't want to damage your keys we're going to drop all the keys inside here and you can already see the the grime and dirt coming off of these and basically you want to soak these for about 15 minutes and then just to agitate the water a little bit get some movement going in there for a little while and you can actually give the keys a little tiny rub with your finger to remove any sort of stubborn marks that you may have on there this might be like leftover food or some grease from after you've been eating crisps or something like that. I know a lot of people do eat at their keyboards and stuff, uh, you know, so it's nothing uncommon here. So just give this a little light rub here. Don't go crazy if you want to damage your keys. These, uh, if you're using a good quality keyboard here, uh, the lettering should be etched inside the key, so you shouldn't be able to damage it. So what I'm going to do now is get some cotton buds here and some pads. Now these are fibrous, which means you do get a little bit of, uh, fiber coming off of these so don't go too crazy on them and uh, if you can use something that doesn't have any sort of lint that comes off then by all means you can use those these are what i've got to hand and i'm going to use some slightly damp warm soapy water here you don't want it saturated because you don't want any fluid or liquid getting into the actual switches of the keyboard here it's okay to have a little bit of damp liquid as long as it's drying out but just don't saturate it. Now, some people might be saying, why don't you use alcohol? Because that dries instantly. And this can sort of taint the color of the keyboard itself and make it go a little bit misty. So I tend to steer clear of that stuff. So warm soapy water is the best possible way of doing this. Now, you can use uh, some sort of lint-free uh, pads if you wish, if you can get hold of those, microfiber cloths or whatever it is, as long as they're small enough to get into the actual crevices here and remove these. I don't find it too difficult, uh, to be honest. It, you don't get a lot of lint here. You can also use the Q-tips or cotton buds, as we call them in the UK here, and go up the channels of the keys here. And you can see all the crap coming out of here. And you just want to basically rub this up uh, in the inside here to get rid of all the debris. You can also use a toothbrush or a paintbrush, uh, a dry paintbrush or something like that to remove all of the debris as well. Now, put these... Uh, keys onto a dry uh, kitchen towel here to dry off and I also used a, a hairdryer that has a warm setting on it and just basically run them over until they were dry you can leave them overnight if you wish if you've got a spare keyboard but basically that's what I did then I'll get a toothbrush here and get all in 
uh, between the switches here and remove all of the debris here and you should see a bunch of hair and grime coming out of here and that's what you want to do really until you've got your keyboard to some sort of clean standard which is okay for you remember it's just a keyboard at the end of the day it doesn't have to be as clean enough to eat your dinner off of but it's got to be clean enough so it looks like you've done something to it just going to blow the rest of this off i haven't got any sort of compressed air with me here right on the desk here so i will need to take it outside and blow it out once more and this will remove any sort of uh, stuff here but i'm just trying to flick off any sort of dust here and you can still see a little bit of dust here and i need to take it downstairs and give it a quick blow out to remove any sort of debris there and that's what you need to do is to get rid of the rest of it and uh, you can see that little space bar there there's a little area where you can get a load of stuff dropping in there so just be careful when uh, cleaning it up and you should have something looking like this which looks pretty clean and again with that toothbrush you can go along the palm rest with uh, some soapy water to clean that off as well so there's the keys there they look pretty clean now and uh, all you need to do here is punch these back onto the keypads. Now, this is where your photograph is going to come in handy because you're just going to reverse the process and punch the keys back onto the switches uh, where they were before. And it makes it very quick and easy. Should take you about half an hour to get all these back on. So just take your time and make sure you're putting the right keys in the right location and give them a little tap to make sure they're fully home. And that should be it. You should have a nice clean keyboard just like you can see here looks pretty clean compared to what it was now you're going to probably read articles online saying stick it in the dishwasher and i wouldn't advise that because you're probably going to end up messing up your keyboard and plus why would you want to put a grimy keyboard in your dishwasher where you put your plates and stuff anyway you can now use compressed air to just blow off any excess dust that may have just resettled on on the actual keyboard after you've uh, put all your keys back on and i'll take that down and give it one more blowout and once you've done all of that, you can admire your hard work and you should have a keyboard that looks like new, just like this one. So taking care of your keyboard is essential. It's just like any sort of other computer component. You want to keep it clean. And if you're eating at your keyboard, it's not really nice. Some of the stuff you're seeing on your keys and you're actually touching that and touching the crisps and things like that. I tend to not do anything like that. It just makes my stomach churn thinking about people eating and touching their keyboard at the same time. But other than that, you should have your keyboard up and running and looking nice and clean like this. Everything functions perfectly fine. And uh, again, if you buy a good quality keyboard, it's going to last you many, many years. Anyway, with that said, I think this is going to be about it for this video. Hope this one helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Hope to see you on our Discord server real soon. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.